guess yeah. Actually, that's all I can do. Is if you wouldn't mind just rehashing what you told me right there, sure. it's close. But but why do you think it's close? Uh, I think it's we've knew it was going to be a close race all along, and these results as they come trickling in across the state bear that out. Um, we knew that it was a battle of ideas between the conservative views of Governor Brownback and the liberal views of, of, of Mr. Davis. And uh, we think it's going to go like this all night. It's going to go back and forth. Um, you know, we're feeling comfortable with where we are. And um, we're confident at the end of the day that Kansas voters are going to pull us through. And uh, we just, you know, just have to stay confident and stay, uh, stay tuned. We'll see where, where how it all falls out. Sure, and, and I'm not too familiar with your background. I don't know if you've uh, been at one of these parties before. Probably, uh, maybe not in the capacity now as working for the governor, uh, with the governor. Could you compare the environment in here to a, a previous watch party, say uh, the 2010 midterm? I think this has a little bit more energy, and I think because there's more at stake, because it is as close as it is, we've got Senator Roberts here, so... Uh, his race, we got the balance of the Senate hanging, you know, on his race. Looks like now they're calling his race, so that's that's good for Republicans. Uh, our race is close. This is Kansas. It's it's a Republican state, so when a Republican governor appears to be in trouble, it attracts a lot of national attention. We've seen that over the last few weeks. We've had TV from Belgium, from Scandinavia, from everywhere across the country, from every news outlet you could imagine. Some that we haven't heard of and. Uh, there's just a lot of interest wondering why it's a close race, why Pat Roberts, why Sam Brownback would have any trouble. So there's a lot of national interest. And there's a, there's implications here, like I said, with the, with the Senate hanging in the balance. So a little bit more energy, a little bit more excitement. And as you, I think as you can see, the party faithful are pretty excited about uh, at least how the night's going. It's looking, looking good for us, and we're confident we're going to be on the winning side at the end too. Sure, still too close to call. It's a tie race. But if the governor does lose tonight, why do you think that would be? I just think it's uh, voters. Voters weighed the options, and they just felt that this was, uh, you know, that that uh, the changes, a lot of the changes that we put in place, perhaps were a little bit more than they they wanted. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of analysis of the of the of the, of the election. Uh, there's some that, some national attention, some national blowback that's affected governors and r traditional Republicans, uh, traditionally held Republican seats across the country that you would normally think there's no issue here. But this year you're seeing more. And you saw that in some of the primaries where everyone had a little bit of a ding. We fully expect that we would have a bit of a ding in our normal support, uh, what the governor's enjoyed in the past. But we still feel confident at the end of the day we're going to be we're going to be on the winning side. And that's the, that's the posture we're in right now. And we've got a little ways to go. And it's still about two-thirds of the vote to be counted. So we'll see how we are. Are you director of communications for Governor Zambrambach? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah.